following tutorial will explain how to set up and use the ESE Post Time to Payroll feature. This feature will allow you to post accumulated tech time on dispatches over to QuickBooks Time Sheets for use with QuickBooks Payroll. To begin and simplify things, it is highly recommended that you run at least one payroll cycle manually within QuickBooks prior to setting this up. Now let's go into QuickBooks and confirm some mandatory things are properly set up. In QuickBooks, go to Edit, Preferences, Integrated Applications, Company Preferences. Click on ESC from the list of applications and then hit the Properties button to the right. The option, Allow this application to access Social Security numbers, customer credit card information, and other personal data, must be checked for the Post Time to Payroll feature to work. Next, in QuickBooks, each employee must have their Earnings section in the Payroll and Compensations info screen set up with a wage item and a pay rate, and also needs to have the Use Time Data to Create Paychecks checkbox checked. Within ESC, go to File, QuickBooks Connection Wizard, and run through all the factors of the integration until you get to the employee matching. Add and or match all employees between the programs as necessary. Also, in ESC, your user must have permissions to run the Post Time to Payroll feature. To enable this permission, go to Company, Set Up Users, select the user, and then click Next. On the Permission screen, under the Dispatch screen options, enable the permission Post Time to Payroll. In ESC, you should have your tech set up with an hourly wage amount, and this is done in Dispatch, Enter Technicians, under the General Tabs Pay Rate field. Now, create a dispatch and assign it to a tech, and complete it with some valid time for the tech. Note how the times are listed on the scheduling tab of the dispatch. Travel time is calculated by finding the difference between the dispatch time and the time on the job, while the working time is calculated by determining the difference between the time on and the time off the dispatch. On a weekly basis, you would run the Post Time to Payroll feature from within ESC. This is found under Dispatch, Post Time to Payroll. Click Begin, and all dispatches within the weekly period will be displayed along with the techs and dates and times they work. This includes both travel and work times for the techs, which are combined for a single total. A tech's pay time can be modified in the Post Time to Payroll screen if necessary, but this is always a manual process. This means that you can split time amongst wage items or set some of that time to overtime wage. To post a text time worked on a dispatch to QuickBooks, ensure that the checkbox at the left side of the screen is checked and then click on Create. You will also be able to assign jobs and departments to the time entries being posted over QuickBooks. When completed, click on Save and the time will be posted to QuickBooks. Once a time entry has been posted over to QuickBooks, it cannot be modified or removed. If you post an incorrect time to QuickBooks, you must modify that time directly within QuickBooks itself. Also, if you rerun the post time for payroll for a time frame that you've already posted to QuickBooks, you will see all posted entries in gray. To see the posted dispatch times entry for your text, go into QuickBooks and click on Employees, Enter Time, Use Weekly Timesheet. To view your text dispatch times, go into ESC and click on Dispatch, Reports, Tech Hours Report. You can click directly on a dispatch number from this report to open that dispatch for editing if needed. This concludes our tutorial on the ESC Post Time to Payroll feature.